Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope all is well with you today, and thank you so much for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in this video, we're going to be looking at your next 48 hours. So all you need to do to find out is choose one of the three images on your screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you need some time. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below. We'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. And you'll also find the link to my website. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that's where you'll find all the info. Okay, so let's get into your reading now. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Hi, group one. So let's take a look at your next 48 hours. Okay, so what's going to be happening for you? And just quickly want to mention these Otter Spirit Crystal Bracelets now have more money off for Black Friday. Okay, there are lots of deals running. They're really excellent quality. They're double A AA and triple A grade crystals and gemstones. Highly recommend them. Recommend them. They're so beautiful and they have every crystal you can ever imagine. And even zodiac packs, intention packs. So you can choose based on your zodiac sign or what you're trying to bring into your life at this moment. So definitely give them a look into. I'll leave the link in the description or the comments. Check both. Okay, so what's going to be happening in your next 48 hours, group one? What's going to be happening in your next 48 hours? Oh, okay, we've got the ninth house exploration. Virgo, digest. Your next 48 hours. Oh, and then opposition, confrontation. Okay. So to begin with here, group one, I feel like there could be some sort of travel going on here. Okay, you could be going on a trip. You could be planning a trip. Okay, or there could be some discussion about long distance travel or maybe even an interest in another country or in another culture. That is, yeah, taking your interest, something that you're really focused on. It could even be a person that is at a distance to you that you could be connecting with. Now, I also feel like this could be connected to higher learning. So maybe you're studying something, okay? So for some of you, this might fall on a school or a study day, or this could just be a new interest that takes takes your mind to a new place, a new place of expansion, represented by Jupiter is the ninth house, which is all about growth, okay? So I do feel like you're going on a personal growth journey these next 48 hours. Now with Virgo here, I feel like you're really going to be looking at the details of things, okay? This kind of gives me a bit of obsessive energy actually, so you may even get really deeply obsessed about a particular topic or maybe even connection to a person, okay? There could be a lot of hyper-focus, hyper-driven energy connected to this area, okay? But then here we've got opposition, so you may feel pulled in two different directions here. I don't feel like this is necessarily an argument, okay? But it could be like a butting of heads, okay? Like two opposing sides, trying to look at both sides of things and feeling, again, this pull in these two different directions between the left, the right, okay? And I don't mean politically, maybe for some of you it will be, especially with what's going on in the world at this moment. But I just feel like this is more in terms of your own life, in terms of what you're wanting for your life that you may feel like this is what I want for my life, this is what I have to do in order to achieve it, but in order to do this, it feels like it's a struggle, it feels like it's pulling you out of your comfort zone. Now, I feel like you'll also be doing some sort of a declutter, okay? This could be a detox of your body, maybe you're going into a sauna, a steam room, a, you know, a physical detox with your diet, but I feel like this could also be a social media detox, you know, removing certain people or unfollowing pages or maybe even just removing your social media for a few days, okay? Cutting things out, giving yourself some space. But this could also be in your home, you could be decluttering your clothes or items that no longer bring you joy or pleasure, okay? Just trying to streamline everything, minimalizing so you can clear your mind, okay? Especially because, again, I feel like you're gonna be so focused and driven on something here. 
And so you feel like in order for you to achieve your long-term goals or to really submerge yourself into these topics or new relationships that you need to cut the fat in some way. You need to release things that are getting in your way. Okay, then we've got round and round. Yeah, your mind is definitely going to be in overdrive, okay? There's a lot of mental stimulation coming through here. So you may have spent a few days just relaxing, feeling at peace, like not really overthinking too much or not going in depth about things, but I feel the next couple of days you're going to be um, spiraling, but not in a bad way. I feel like this is in a good way, actually, okay? I mean, you always have to bring yourself to a more neutral place to find that sense of peace, but I feel like this is something you're really going to sink your teeth into, something that inspires you, something that brings you passion, something that brings you joy. Okay, and your mind is just going to be a bit of a whirlwind here. Okay, then we've got to be fair, okay, which is the energy of Libra and justice. So this may even be connected to humanitarian rights or social justice, but this could also be connected to contracts. So there may be a new contract coming through you're going to be signing or maybe even in connection to a relationship you're going to be focused on. Okay, I definitely see connection to other people and specifically one person. Like you may have other people you're connected with, of course, but in terms of what's going to be most prominent in terms of the themes coming through here for you, I feel like it's like you'll be spending a lot of one on one time with somebody, either face to face or over messages. I just see a lot of this back and forth communication. Because Libra is also the energy of balance and, you know, it's the scales. Okay, so it's like shooting these messages, shooting these conversations, these ideas, brainstorming even. Back and forth, back and forth. Truth be told. Okay, so there is going to be some truth that, that is revealed to you through these investigations that you're doing, through, these, through this clear out. Okay, I feel like you're going to have your own personal epiphanies. Okay, but also I feel like there could be somebody coming in and is more open and honest with you, is speaking their truth, is letting you know either where you stand, where they stand with you or on certain matters. Okay, you could be talking about your passions with them or talking about your relationship with them. Okay, definitely an interesting couple of days that's coming up for you. So let's get some nature spirit cards here. your next 48 hours nature spirit that's interesting okay this one is quite rare to come out so yeah i feel like you're definitely going to be very connected to earth energy taurus virgo capricorn so this could be a focus on your money okay this could even be you're going to go on a nice walk through nature or again, focusing on the practical things in your life, whether that's money, whether it's health, whether it's your overall stability, your sense of self-esteem, okay? I feel like this is something that you are going to be working on here and connecting to. You may also feel more connected to animals these next couple of days. So maybe you're going to just see them out and about on your walk or connecting with your pets or maybe even other people's pets. This could even be connected to animal rights. This could be something that you're very passionate about over the next couple of days. But yeah, I really feel like you're going to take some time to ground yourself, okay? Interesting, now we've got the circle of life. So again, more earth energy, and we've got two circular cards coming through. So I feel like, yeah, you're really going to be in quite a profound place of thinking here, seeing the circle of life, seeing the circle of events here that are taking place. It reminds me of the butterfly effect, where you know one minute decision impacts your whole life, okay, and the cycle of your life. And so, yeah, I feel like you're going to be reevaluating everything, the daily actions you take, because Virgo also represents your daily routine. And so I feel like you're going to be taking stock of how you're spending your time, your time management and seeing, you know, what can I do that's really going to benefit my overall future? What's going to benefit me in the now? What's going to benefit me later? And what habits or things you were doing that were detrimental to your future? You know, you may be looking at these things and saying, okay, this is something that I can cut out. This is something that I can replace it with. Okay, so it's like replacing maybe old negative habits or even old ways of thinking. 
with new ones, with new positive ones, with ones that are going to bring you your long-term goals, okay? Because it really is about your daily actions that create your future, okay? And it's the little things, it's not always the big things. Yes, the big things, of course, make the, the greatest impact, but in order to reach that point where you make those big decisions, is by taking those little steps first. So yeah, it's like one step at a time here. So I feel like you are gonna be making lots of little changes these next couple of days. Definitely a shakeup in your routine is happening for you here. Okay, let's see what else is coming through. Your next 20, not 24, your next 48 hours. What's going to be happening for you, group one? Bear, you are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Okay. It's interesting, we've got more earth energy. Okay, bear, of course, connects to the earth. Yeah, it's like, I'm almost seeing this bear is kind of holding back here. It's like, again, looking looking in the direction of its future. So that, again, this is you looking into your future, seeing what is to come, seeing what it is you want to achieve, but maybe feeling a little bit afraid. This could be what this confrontation is about, you confronting your own fears, okay, about making these changes, okay? Because it could feel quite scary. It could feel overwhelming at times, okay? Because of what you really want to do. Like the truth ultimately will set you free. But again, it can be quite scary. And so I feel like there is this part of you that's a little tentative. Like you don't want to keep going round in circles anymore. You don't want your life to continue in this circular motion. It's like you are ready for change. You are ready to implement these changes. You are ready to take the ne next step in your life, okay? But it is a slow process, okay? And that's what I'm seeing here. It's going to take time. It's going to take consistency, but you will get there. You absolutely will get there because you are in this place where you are ready you are ready to take this leap, okay? You may feel like you need to do some things first, you need to cross things off your to-do list, but this is all about you reaching that long-term future, okay, that you desire. So maybe you've been manifesting something for your future, okay, whether it's connected to money, whether it's connected to relationships. Now we've got Dolphin Atlantis, healing wisdom is surfacing, stop and listen. Okay, so that makes sense as well with the truth be told that there is truth coming to light, okay? There is. You are going to have more information than you do right now, okay? Which you may not understand or see at this very moment that you're watching this, but remember it's a prediction reading, okay? So it may not make sense yes, yet, but please do come back or see how it goes over the next 48 hours. I would love it if you would come back to this video and comment as and when it makes sense. I mean, if it makes sense now, amazing. Please comment a blue emoji, any of your choice. But if you would like to wait until this time has elapsed first before making your final judgments, absolutely great. Please do remember to come back and comment if it did make sense. I know a lot of you do that. I've seen that on previous prediction readings that you've done that and I really appreciate that. Uh, it really helps me to know that I'm on the right track and helps other people as well to see that it does make sense, okay? Because some people I've noticed in the past can get a little bit funny about, um, oh, this doesn't make any sense, um, but it's not going to make sense. It might make a little bit of sense, especially if you feel like you're already on that path, but a lot of the time it's not necessarily all going to make sense because it, we're looking into the future. It's not, it's not happened yet, you know? But yeah, you are being guided to listen. This is your time to listen rather than speak, okay? Now, it's not to say that your voice isn't valuable or shouldn't be heard, but I feel like you're going to gain a lot more by listening these next couple of days because you always gain a lot more knowledge and wisdom by listening rather than speaking. You impart wisdom when you speak, okay? If you're speaking <laughs> um, from a place of experience, from a place of knowledge and coming from that place where you're trying to help other people, of course. And I feel like you're somebody that does help other, other people a lot. But it's time now for you to absorb 
what you're seeing, what you're hearing at this time. I also feel like there's going to be songs, songs that you hear over the next 48 hours that are really going to ring true for you. There's a lot of hidden wisdom within these songs, within the lyrics. Okay, now these could be songs that just come onto the radio or songs that you hear on the backtrack of a video on social media or if you've got like Spotify on um, Shuffle, for example, whether it's a playlist that you already have or where, you know, sometimes it recommends songs that are similar or ones that it thinks you likes, thinks you like, pay attention, okay? Because these songs definitely have um, hidden messages in them. So let's see what else is coming through. But yeah, I definitely feel like you're not going to be maybe as emotional these next couple of days. It feels, like I said, more practical and more intellectual what's going to be going on here for you. Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords here in reverse. So I feel like you're coming out of quite a dark place. Okay, you may have been going through a bout of depression or a lot of anxiety or maybe even a betrayal. Okay, but just know these next 48 hours, you are coming out of that. You are healing through that right now, okay? So as dark as you've felt it has been, this is not going to continue. And it's good to always remember this, that everything is temporary. Nothing lasts forever. The dark times will not continue indefinitely, okay? And especially through these next 48 hours, I feel like you're going to have more hope. Okay, wow, okay, we've got the Three of Swords in reverse. So again, a release of pain. Yeah, you're going to be going through a lot of deep cellular healing these next couple of days. Okay, I feel like this is more on the mental sphere that you're going to be releasing. Again, if this has been a lot of overthinking, I do feel like you're an overthinker a lot of the time, but it's like you can choose where you place your thoughts. And I feel like your thoughts previously to this period were quite dark and you may have got obsessed with the darkness, but then moving forwards, I think you're gonna get more into or obsessed or over-focused on, not even over-focused, just hyper-focused on positive things. Again, things that are going to benefit you because I feel like the place your mind was in previously was not doing you any good. And it's not to beat yourself up for what was happening. It was a natural cycle of what you were going through, okay? We need those low periods as well to be able to see the light, okay? To help us transform. If you think about the death card energy, it's about transformation that connects into new beginnings. Okay, that's interesting because this high priestess, is, I don't know if you could see that there, but it came out like this, it flew out completely um, horizontally. It wasn't even slightly up or slightly down, it was right in the middle. And so I feel like, yeah, it's you're on the precipice of some kind of big awakening here. Like it's not quite come through just yet, but I feel over the next 48 hours, it's coming through. Okay, there may still be more information that needs to come to light after this, okay? Because I feel like, yeah, there's, it's, it's going to be a longer process. Like you're going to almost be drip fed different pieces of healing information, different pieces of truth that help to enlighten you. But it's not all going to happen within 48 hours. I feel like it's gonna be a longer process. It's gonna be more and more that you're going to discover moving forwards. Okay, so we have the star card now, card of Aquarius. And then the king of cups. Okay, I'm going to get the fishbowl messages in a moment. Haven't done those for a little while, so I hope you guys are looking forward to them. Now, hmm, there may be some unexpected communication coming in, okay? It could be from this male, an, uh, not an Aquarius, it could be an Aquarius, but it could also be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Definitely a masculine energy I'm sensing here, okay? It could be, they could be older than you in some way, could be a father or father figure, could be you know, someone romantic, could be a friend, okay? But I do feel like there is this healing wisdom surfacing from this male. Now, it may bring you closure in some way, okay? It may also make you feel like, okay, I need to move on. It may be the information you need in order to process things and move forwards. But yeah, this person, because they're in reverse, they could be either a little bit emotionally manipulative or they could be 
somewhat distant or avoidant of their feelings. So just something to note, okay, that this person coming in may not be the sweetest or they may have, they may struggle to express their true emotions to you. And this is why, again, I feel like you're really being guided to listen. Listening is truly key here for you, okay? Because I feel like if you run away with what they say and you take everything straight off the, the back with face ballot, um, hold on, <laughs> straight off the back, um, at face value, you may end up sort of twisted in the reality of things. So this is where I feel like you're being guided to, like say it's a text message or a DM or an email, just read it and reread it and reread it before you respond. Maybe even sleep on it before you respond because you may feel differently about it later on. Because it's like, say, if you watch a film, you watch the film the first time, okay? And then you watch the film again a few months later the second time. You can pick up so many more details the second time you watch it. And each time you rewatch something, you can pick up different nuances, different symbolisms, understandings, meanings to it. And so I feel like this is something that needs reevaluating. So definitely don't jump into something Okay, whether it's a business proposition and wh whether it's a relationship proposition or just, again, information in general, okay, from this masculine here. Give it a little bit of time. Now, it could be a different time frame for all of you. For some of you just need a few hours to process it. For some of you, you need a few days, okay, maybe even a few weeks, but I imagine it doesn't quite need to be that long. I mean, you may even decide you don't want to respond, okay? Maybe you just want to hear what they have to say, but you may want to be careful about what you say back. You may feel like, you know what, I just want to take my time, take your own time. Don't feel pressured or forced into responding to this, okay? This needs, this needs your time and attention. Wait, one second, let me get the fishbowl. Okay, And then I'm gonna get pull some manifestation cards as well for you at the end. Okay, so your next 48 hours. Let's see. Okay, we can see the first one says perfect teeth. Okay, so this could be you're going to be connected with somebody with perfect teeth that you view as perfect, or maybe this is you, maybe you're going to the dentist, maybe you're getting some work done, maybe you're whitening them or something, or maybe somebody actually says this to you, you have a beautiful smile or perfect teeth, very specific. Okay, then we've got the third house. Third house represents the mind and communication. It's ruled by Mercury, Gemini, Virgo energy. So again, not surprised to see that, that's another confirmation. There's definitely communication coming in. Your mind is gonna be spinning a little bit, Okay, but again, because you don't want to go around in circles, either in this relationship or just in your life in general, this is your opportunity to make a change. Okay, because say, for example, you always replied quickly or you always acted impulsively or however you may have responded or reacted. Like, this is your time to make a change. So because in order to make bigger changes in your life, you have to change those little things in the moment. Okay, because then here, look, we've got no contact. So yeah, you may decide to be no contact. You may decide to ghost somebody, okay, or to pull away from this person. But maybe they went no contact with you and that's what you found is very hurtful. And so this might be you deciding to reevaluate everything here. Then we've got body language. So this may be as well, if you're meeting somebody in person, okay, you're going to be studying their body language. And this would definitely be a recommendation to do is to, Again, and this is what you do when you are listening, okay? You can't observe body language as much if you are always speaking, okay? But whereas when you are listening, when you're holding back, you're observing, you can look at what they're doing. There's many different ways you can understand body language. And the thing is, you don't necessarily have to, you know, understand it intellectually, but on an instinct level, your gut instinct will be able to tell you. We can always tell, um, you know, how somebody feels when we look at them, but we can end up getting confused in our mind, maybe in cognitive dissonance, or, you know, we choose to see things the way we want to see them. But when you truly come from a neutral place and say, you know what, I'm just gonna, 
I'm just going to watch. I'm just going to observe. Maybe even you're just going to be people watching a little bit. Okay, maybe you'll even be watching videos about body language or something. So you're able to determine, you know, what somebody is trying to portray, okay, which will help you. Okay, we've got sarcasm. So maybe you're going to be connected with somebody who has that kind of dry or sarcastic sense of humor. Maybe you do, okay, and that's going to be part of this communication. Psychic. Oh, let's just look at the other ones first here. So we've got low self-esteem, attached, and introvert. Okay. So the low self-esteem, it may be something that you've been experiencing, group one. You may have, especially with what you were going through previously, this could have really knocked your self-worth. Okay. You may have been questioning yourself and how worthy you are. But I do feel like this is something you are coming out of if you have been feeling this way. Okay, but I feel like this is also something to remember during this either no contact and the communication that is coming through. Are you coming at this from an angle of high self-esteem or low self-esteem? Okay, if you truly were felt worthy within yourself, if you truly felt secure, how would you react? Maybe this is even your own body language, okay? How would you show your body language, okay? If you were coming from a place of self-esteem, okay? Would you be hunched over, looking down at the ground, or would you be, your shoulders be back? Would you be looking up? Would your head be up? You know, looking forwards rather than down, okay? And it's been proven that if you, well, fake it till you make it, but if you have if you're trying to feel more confident, then start to act more confident. So try to create this confident body stance, okay? Like walk with your head held high. You will automatically start to feel more confident within yourself, okay? So this may be something that you are working on these next couple of days. Okay, then we've got attached, which I feel like this is you feeling attached to particular outcomes, okay? And then deciding, you know what, I'm not going to be attached. I, d I don't feel like you're going to be in that negative place of feeling like things have to be exactly as you want them to be. I feel like you're going to be in a stronger place of self-acceptance. But this may again be something you have to remind yourself of at times, okay? To say, you know what, it is what it is. What is meant for me will not pass me by, okay? And rejection is protection. So anything that isn't working out, is not meant for me, okay? So not being overly attached to the outcomes. But again, you might be attached to, again, certain topics, okay? Things that you're really interested in, things that you're passionate about. And this may connect as well to the introvert here, okay? You may decide, you know what? You want to be a little bit more introverted. You don't want to be out socializing with lots of people. You're quite happy to be at home or to spend time alone, or again, just to spend time one-on-one -on -one with certain people. because introverts doesn't mean that you don't want to spend time with people at all it just means sometimes you'd rather be in a one-on-one -on -one situation okay or speak to one person at a time rather than be in a group for example but yeah your psychic gifts are going to be very powerful these next couple of days okay so you're going to be getting a lot of psychic hits and this also is part and parcel of listening okay being in that place of observing observing the messages that come through observing how you feel about certain things, okay? Rather than jumping the gun all the time, your intuition will guide you when you slow it down just a little bit, okay? But yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to be getting a lot of psychic messages. I'm seeing the number 1111 here. So you could be seeing that a lot in synchronicity these next couple of days. And just remember when you see that or any other number synchronicity, that is divine guidance letting you know you are on the right path. So take, Take something positive from that as and when it comes up for you. Okay, so I'm just going to get some manifestation rituals. I got these cards from, um, I was sent these by Emma Munford. Okay, these are really beautiful because I feel like sometimes you just need a little bit of a, a heads up in terms of what you're manifesting. And this can be, you know, they're really great mantras on here. So maybe even after I pull these, you could write them down or take a picture of them, a screenshot and you know just say these over and over again okay but i quite like to pull one of these a day and then just place it somewhere i'm going to look at it quite often okay and it reminds me this is what i'm working on oh okay so we've had a few fly out here how many have we got i was only going to pull one or two but that we've got three for you so let's do this i release attachment 
and let go of the outcome. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it, group one? So moving forwards, this can be one of your mantras. I release attachment and let go of the outcome. I am a powerful manifester. I am a powerful manifester. I release and let go of the past with ease. I release and let go of the past with ease. Okay, so yes, this is your time to let go of the past, to focus on the now, to focus on your future, what you want to manifest to bring in, but also letting go of whatever you feel overly attached to, whether it's people, whether it's jobs, whether it's material items, letting go and saying, yes, if it's meant for me, it will be for me. I release attachment and let go of the outcome. So this is what I see for you, group one. I truly hope it resonates with you. Please do comment below if it does. Again, a blue heart emoji if it's making any sense for you or if you just enjoyed this reading. I would love to hear your thoughts. And liking the video and subscribing to my channel really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much in advance. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group two. So let's take a look into your next 48 hours and what's going to be happening for you, okay? Okay, let's see what's going to be happening for you. And I also just wanna let you know that uh, Otter Spirit have some more money off for Black Friday if you wanna purchase any of these bracelets. They have beautiful AA and AAA grade crystals and gemstones. They're a fantastic company. They have so many different crystals, such an amazing range with also Zodiac and intention packs. So you can choose bracelets based on what you are, what your intentions are for the future, what you're trying to manifest. Yeah, they're, they're really lovely. I'll leave the link in the description box or the comments. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do, but just check both. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What's coming through for you? Group number two, what's gonna be happening in your next 48 hours? Okay, we have Solar Calm, clarify. Square, semi-square, quincunx and tension aspect. And then we have Mercury messages, okay. <laughs> so I don't know why I just felt like singing humming a tune then so I don't know which kind of just made me feel like this is like a, a positive couple of days for you or just like feeling a little bit lighter in some way now not to say the entire 48 hours is going to be completely lovely and just filled with song and wonderfulness because I mean maybe it will be I hope it will be for you but yeah I just I don't know why I just felt this, this really sort of sweet song coming on and that's unusual for me certainly in readings anyway, but yeah, I feel like you're gonna be more at a place of peace than you have been for a while, especially with this solar calm. I feel like you might take some time to meditate, maybe you're going to do some yoga or taking some nice long relaxing baths. Okay, I just, yeah, maybe even some nice extra long naps or sleeping a bit more than usual. It definitely feels like you're coming to a place of peace and rest, okay? This may actually have come out of a time when you were feeling very tense, okay? Because with this tension aspect in astrology, this can be the square here where planets are causing tension between each other, okay? But it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. This is the thing people can get scared of it. Even I have sometimes if I see these squares and such and I'm like, oh, okay, that's bad. But it doesn't mean it's bad. Like just because it's, you know, the red uh, line doesn't mean that it's a bad red line, okay? It just means that it is causing change. It is forcing you to make some sort of change that you may feel conflicted about in different ways or tense about, but it may even cause tension to other people because it's almost like, I feel like this is you choosing your piece and that may actually annoy somebody else, okay? Because yeah, I feel like you may decide to ignore somebody, okay? Or maybe you'll cancel on someone because you're putting your peace and your well-being first, okay? And yeah, this might enrage somebody a little bit. So just being aware of that, but it's not your problem, okay? That is not your, your axe or cross to bear, 
okay? It is up to you, okay? Like, if you want to spend time on your own, if you want to spend time focused on what you enjoy, if you need to focus on finding your peace, then that's what you need to do, okay? And anybody that doesn't understand that, maybe they're not best to be in your life at this moment or at all. Obviously, that's your choice to make in that respect. But I feel like you're really needing to find that sense of balance, okay, these next couple of days. But then this could also be you're going to get an influx of messages coming through, okay? You could receive a lot of messages, a lot of communication, and that may cause a little bit of tension because you may not feel like replying or you may not know what or who to reply to next. So yeah, it could be something that transpires, something that happens is gonna cause all of this extra communication to come in. And it's like, you know, like whack-a-mole, <laughs> like you're trying to like, you whack one mole down and then another one pops up and you whack that mole down and then another one pops up. So this could be in context to your work, okay? You could be receiving a lot of work, emails or communication or maybe a lot of DMs on social media. That could also be what's coming through here. But let's just get some more information here, okay? Let's see what else is coming through. Oh my God, look at that. Peace. Peace. Wow. Wow. Yes, this is you choosing your peace. <sighs> like, I just, again, I just feel like almost taking a load off here. Like, I just breathe that sigh of release or uh, relief where you just like, oh, okay, I can relax. I don't need to worry about these things. And this is the thing. You may decide this can wait till tomorrow. This can wait for another day. I don't have to reply now just because somebody is demanding an demanding it of me right now doesn't mean I have to okay obviously there are certain responsibilities in life that need to be taken care of straight away but other things I feel like you're going to be looking at the whole picture and saying okay this can wait for for tomorrow this can wait for another day this needs to be attended to right now um, but all of the other things I feel like you're just going to let go by the wayside and just say you know what that can wait it's not imperative that I do it right now or that I respond in this moment you're just going to let that go Okay. Oh, look, then we've got message in a bottle. And I would say the number five's coming through a fair amount here. We've got 15 here. We've got two and three, which reduced to the number five. And then we've got five here. So five is the number of change, movement. So yeah, definitely some changes going on. So if things have been very stressful for you lately or overwhelming, I don't feel like it's going to be the next couple of days or you're not going to allow it to overwhelm you the next couple of days. I feel like that's what's important <clears throat> because yeah, again, you're gonna be receiving a lot of messages here. There, is, there are messages coming through to you. Okay, I really feel like these are actual messages like in terms of texts, DMs, emails. They are coming in, okay? And maybe coming in from somebody unexpected as well. Like, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of messages you maybe do expect, but there's one in particular I feel like you don't see coming. But it's one I feel like you were hoping to receive for a while, but then it just comes in. But it's almost like you'd given up hope on it. You'd let it go, you were focused on other things, and then this one comes in. So yeah, it may be somebody that had ignored you for a while, ghosted, or, maybe even it was it's just an apology okay somebody comes through and expresses themselves more openly with you these next 48 hours and then we've got here and now which again gives me peace okay because when you focus on the now you feel at peace when we focus on the past we can get depressed when we focus on the future we can get anxious and so I feel like this is you being like, you know what, I'm focusing on the here and now because that's what's bringing me peace. I'm not focusing too much on what's ahead and I'm not focusing on what is now behind me, okay? Those things outside of your control, I feel like this is you deciding to let this go, okay? Giving yourself some respite, giving yourself some time to reflect, to feel relaxed, okay? This is your time to just chill, take a load off, put your feet up. So maybe this reading falls on a weekend as and when you're watching this or as and when I upload this. Obviously this is a timeless reading. So whenever you are drawn to this is when it's meant for you. So obviously it could fall on any day, but maybe it's just on days where you actually have time off work or that maybe even if it is within your work, maybe you're just going to feel more at peace within your work. 
Then we've got Peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Wow. Yeah, this is you focusing more on you. This is definitely a couple of days filled with self-love, filled with doing the things that you want to do. Because again, life is filled with things that we don't always want to do, but are necessary, okay? That they, we are responsible for. But it doesn't have to be always filled with those things. We need that balance of also being able to do things we enjoy doing, okay? That's all part of self-love, okay? So it's like leaning into what feels good to me right now. What's going to nourish my mind, body, and soul, and it's weird because I almost feel like you leaning more into this sense of peace and calm and doing things you love is what is bringing in all of these extra messages and all of this attention. It's like other people can sense this, like group two is feeling at peace right now, group two is relaxed, let's come in and shake things up or let's try and get group two to be busy. But again, I just feel like you're not going to be paying any mind to it. Again, you'll respond to those you want to and to those you don't who are just going to leave either not respond at all or you may decide that you're going to give it a few days okay you're, you're going to take your time you're going to focus on you even this peacock gives me leo energy okay so i feel like this is you focusing more on things that make you feel good following the fun and in a way that makes you stand out okay because now we also have chameleon soul tribe it's safe to be seen so yeah, someone may even reshare something that you post on social media or a personal accolade that you've achieved or I don't know. I just feel like there's something here about virality. Like there may be something, a post of yours that goes viral on social media or through your work, people recognize something that you've done and you, you may receive some sort of a bonus or reward. Okay, you may even receive a lot of extra money coming in. Okay, which is also able to give you that sense of peace. Like, Ah, okay, my finances are taken care of, so I can relax. And it may be, okay, I'm gonna spend a bit of this money on myself. I'm gonna go to a spa, or I'm gonna buy some new clothes, or some new makeup, or I'm gonna book a trip, or I'm gonna do something that makes me feel happy in this moment. It's also given me a lot of creative energy, so you may be doing some creative things, like painting, or, um, or some other kind of artwork, or uh, something spiritually creative. Something where there's a lot of colors, I feel. Maybe even sewing, making clothes, or um, doing puzzles, or any kind of craft. Like I'm not gonna list all of them, the hundreds of crafts or thousands of crafts there are, but it feels like something that you will get a lot of great joy from, okay? But yeah, I feel like <laughs> it's interesting. You're, it's safe to be seen, so you may not want to be seen these next 48 hours. You may quite enjoy just, again, being by yourself or just being in this place of peace, but it's like you can't help it. It's like you've got a very strong man magnetic aura, more so than usual these next couple of days. And maybe that's because people can pick up on the energy of peace within you. And then that draws more and more people to you in that moment, okay? But I definitely feel like this is a period of enjoyment for you. Okay, but again, this tension may be because it's like, look, I just want to be left alone. Why is everybody coming to me? Or like, where were you a few days ago when I needed you? And it's like, but I guess that's the energy of manifestation as well, or letting go of the attachment of things. Because it's like, maybe you were really wanting or seeking something before these two days. And then because you let go of it, because you just focus on the now, then it all comes flooding in. Eagle medicine. Okay, and then ancestors. So yeah, you are gonna be soaring very high these next couple of days. I love this, like I can't stop smiling throughout your reading group too. I really can't, it's like, what's the word? Um, oh, I can't think of the word, but it's just, I can't stop. It's just there. This smile has just been present throughout your whole reading. So I feel like you're going to be very smiling. I feel like you're going to be very, very happy. And again, it may be communication that comes in, makes you feel more relaxed. You're like, ah, oh, okay. 
finally they've said this, finally they've apologized, or finally I'm being recognized for what I'm doing, okay? And you feel like you're getting that reward. So you just feel that ah, sense of peace, you can relax, you can move on, you can let it go. Let going, you, letting go of the past, focusing on the present. Because again, I don't even think you're gonna be focused on the future, not these next couple of days. There's a time and a place for it, but I feel like you're gonna be more focused on just embracing that present moment. Okay, seeing things from this higher perspective with Eagle Medicine. Now you may even find something that really helps you if you've got some kind of physical ailment at the moment. It may be that, yeah, there is healing wisdom that surfaces that allows you to heal that. You know, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually even. Yeah. I also feel like you're gonna be receiving messages from birds. There's a lot of bird imageries coming through in, like loads of bird imageries now that I'm seeing here. So yeah, you may be seeing a lot of birds in synchronicity, birds in real life. Maybe you'll even like have a bird like knock at your window or you see bird imagery online. Okay, but definitely a lot of air coming through Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So again, a lot of communication coming your way. Wow. Now with ancestors as well, this may be that you're receiving, maybe you're doing like a DNA test or something, or like, you know, like ancestry, okay? Or maybe you, like a family member shares something about one of your passed on loved ones or something that your ancestors did, okay? That could be something that you find out, or maybe you feel more connected to uh, your ancestors in some way. But again, there's birds here as well. So it may even be that they are your spiritual messengers, Okay, so you may even like receive a white feather at your door or it lands in front of you on your path. Because even here, this is being up in the clouds. So for some of you, you may even be on a plane. Okay, that's something coming through. That'll be obviously just for some of you, but I'm definitely seeing being on a plane, being up really, really high. So you may also go up into a high rise building. Okay, and maybe you're even looking out of a window. I see you looking down. Yeah. I definitely feel like you're gonna be up high in some way. Now, it may even be through meditation that you spend some time being up high into the clouds uh, intellectually. But also, you know, that sense of elation where you just feel like on top of the world, like, yes. You know, that really high feeling, like being high on life these next 48 hours. God, even this chameleon actually is up high in this tree, so yeah. There's not a lot of grounded earth energy coming through here at all. So I feel like, yeah, you're definitely gonna be up in the clouds a lot, maybe even dreaming a lot, fantasizing, but enjoying you know, what you're going through. This is one of the most positive readings I've done for a while in these 48 hours. So really pleased to see this for you. Okay, interesting. We've got Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, two earth sign males coming through. Oh my God, another one. <gasps> Whoa, we've got three male energies coming through here. They don't have to be male though, of course they could end up being female. We've got a female now coming through. Look, this is all communication. These are all people coming in, people offering things, people helping you. Wow, so yeah, like I said, it's gonna be busy in terms of people coming in, but it's interesting that both earth signs are upright, but both water signs here are reversed. Okay, so, Hmm. Like, I don't feel you're, you're going to be that emotional as a whole. I feel like you're going to be more neutral. Again, more sort of focused on the present moment. But maybe this is because of everything coming in. I mean, excitement is, of course, an emotion. So I feel like, if anything, you're going to feel quite excited. I'm getting a lot of younger energy here as well. So you may get some younger energies coming in, offering you things. Maybe offering you some deals, offering you sponsorships if you're sort of an online influencer or through your work, you may get more than one job opportunity coming through, um, but you may also get more than one love offer coming through. Maybe you're doing online dating or something and you suddenly get all of these offers coming in, or maybe this is even some exes that come in um, all at once, okay? And you could even be a little bit overwhelmed, like what what's going on? Like someone just flipped a switch suddenly, it's like, there was kind of nothing going on. I almost, I'm seeing like the Sahara Desert where it was just dry, dry AF like energy, like nothing really going on. And then suddenly it's like, whoa, like honestly, where did all these people come from? It, it's a lot, it's a lot of people coming in specifically for you, a group number two. 
So let's get some fishbowl messages now and then I will get some manifestation cards as well. So your next 48 hours. So please comment a red heart emoji if this is making sense for you yet or you can come back and comment that later after the 48 hours time frame has elapsed of course. Okay. So we've got Jack of all trades. Resting bitch face. <laughs> okay, March. Financial advisor, 111. Carer. Ghosting. And then move forwards. Okay. So you could be seeing the numbers 111 in synchronicity, which is funny because I actually got that for group one's reading too, although I didn't pull the card. But yeah, seeing 1111 a lot is coming through in this whole reading collectively so far. So yeah, this is the master angel numbers, which you could be seeing, which is your divine protection coming in. Now, you may speak to a financial advisor or somebody may advise you on your finances. You know, they may come out of the woodwork and advise you. You may also advise someone else on something, but I feel like it's coming in for you. But maybe even all this influx of attention or new work opportunities that are coming through for you are helping you to reevaluate your finances. Okay, maybe thinking, okay, so what am I gonna do with this money? How am I going to use it? How am I going to invest it? What am I going to pay off? You know, what am I going to save? What am I going to purchase? So yeah, again, I don't think you're gonna be stressed about it. I think you're gonna quite enjoy it, okay? Being able to plan it out. Now the resting bitch face. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be you. I feel like you're going to have this, that sort of face on you for the next couple of days. But again, it's not to say you're, you're feeling that way inside, but it's just the way that you come across. But in some way, it's like it's drawing more people to you. Wow. Now, you may notice something. Maybe you're watching this in the month of March. Okay. But it may be that somebody born in the month of March is coming in towards you. Or it may be something surrounding this manifest in March. It may be something that you're implementing these next 48 hours is manifesting in the next season or month of March. Now we've got move forwards. So I feel like everything that's gonna be happening for you within this time frame is gonna help you to move forwards. Even though I know you're gonna be more focused on the present, so you're not really gonna be doing as a lot of movement forwards yourself the next 48 hours, but everything that's happening and coming in for you is gonna help you to be able to move forwards and progress in your life, okay, after this time period. So again, I feel like you're gonna be quite still, and again, just kind of enjoying it, luxuriating in all of these offers, all of this communication, all of this money coming in, because yeah, I definitely see extra money coming in for you. It could be coming through multiple different sources. Yeah, and I feel like you're really gonna enjoy that. Okay, now you may ghost someone here or maybe even more than one person because again like i said maybe it's too much for you to handle at this moment so you know you're going to reply to those that you want to and others you may just decide to ghost you may pick it back up afterwards i don't feel like it's others ghosting you these next 48 hours i don't i feel like it's all this energy is coming in towards you so you may be the one doing the ghosting now jack of all trades so yeah, there could be multiple different talents that you possess, group two, okay? And it may be all of these different talents that are helping bring in all of these different offers because it's like I'm definitely seeing a mixture of different people coming in, a mixture of different offers and things. So maybe, again, because you are multi-talented, there's lots of, maybe you've got your hands in lots of different pies. And so when all of these different offers come in, it's like, wow, you know, I could do this or I could do that. Or it's like you're going to have the beauty of choice, okay? Which is what I also feel like it's gonna give you mostly a sense of peace, but again, there may be a little bit of tension at times because it's like when you look at a menu, a food menu, and if there's pages and pages and pages of different meals, it's like it can become overwhelming because you're like, I don't know, there's too many different choices. I want a bit of that, but then I also want that, and then I want a bit of that. Whereas if there's just one singular menu with like just a few choices, it's much easier to make that decision. And so it's nice to have all of these choices, but yeah, it may feel a little bit stressful at times because you're like, I just don't know. But this is where I feel like you'll shut off and just say, you know what, I'll just think about it. Let me think about it for a couple of days, then I will make my decision. And then we have carer as well. 
So it may be that you are caring for somebody, but I really feel you're going to be really caring for yourself mostly because I feel like you are a very nurturing, caring person. I feel like you do a lot for other people. You're always there. You're always a supportive person to the people you love and people around you. But it's time for you to focus on you these next 48 hours, group two. It's time to take care of you. And I feel like also the people coming in are wanting to help take care of you. So let's just get some manifest manifesting rituals cards. I was sent these by Emma Munford. They are really beautiful cards. Like I like to pull one each day and just keep it somewhere that I can see it. And it helps to reinstill whatever it is the card says, what I'm trying to manifest. They're really, really powerful, positive uh, images and words on these. So yeah, absolutely love these. So let's see what your manifesting rituals cards are for the day. And feel free to like write these down, okay? Or you can screenshot them and just repeat these over and over over the next couple of days because they're going to help you in everything that you're going through. Okay, I am worthy of happiness, success and abundance. So yes, you are worthy of happiness, success and abundance. So that makes sense as well because of all this, this uh, all these bonuses, all this money, all of these offers that are coming in. At times, it, again, it may feel confusing for you or because you're, you might not always feel used to it or you may in the past have not felt worthy of all of this success and abundance. But repeat to yourself, I am worthy of happiness, success and abundance. I am worthy of happiness, success and abundance. Even you could set yourself an alarm. I do this sometimes with certain affirmations and I'll set an alarm on my phone and it'll just remind me. That is what I am affirming. I am a powerful manifester. Okay, so repeat that as well. All that you're trying to manifest, repeat. You are a powerful manifester. You can attract anything and everything that you desire into your life. Okay, I just dropped. That's too many that flew out there. Let's just get one more for you. money loves me and i love it so wow there it is group two so much money is going to be coming into you more money than you expect okay so repeat this money loves me and i love it i am worthy of happiness success and abundance and i am a powerful manifester so there it is group two i really do hope it resonates with you if it does, please comment below, as I said, a red heart emoji or maybe even a money symbolism, you know, or just even repeat one of these affirmations in the comments. Put money loves me and I love it. I am worthy of happiness, success and abundance. I'm a powerful manifester. But by liking the video and subscribing to my channel also shows your energetic support. So thank you so much in advance. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Hi, group three. So let's take a look at your next 48 hours. Okay, what's going to be happening for you in the next 48 hours? Okay, so we've got trine, sextile symbiosis, progressions, journey and remember this is a timeless reading as well so whenever you are drawn to this is when it's meant for you okay so your next 48 hours we've got strong Pisces energy coming through here so you may be connected to water over the next couple of days maybe you're going to go swimming or taking a nice long bath but you may also be connected more to your spirituality because Neptune is connected to Pisces and uh, psychic abilities, the metaphysical. And you may be progressing in terms of your psychic abilities. I do see some sort of uplifting and awakening happening within your psychic abilities. OK, so, yeah, there may be an improvement there. Maybe you're learning a new psychic skill over the next couple of days. Now, I also see you connecting with other people here. So you may be connecting with friends or family members because I'm seeing like all of these birds here 
Nick Trine is connected to the energy of three. So it could be three people you're meeting up with or two people and you are the third person. So yeah, you may meet up in a group of three or it may even be more than that, okay? Because I'm definitely seeing like lots of different people here. Or maybe you're meeting up one-on-one -on -one with, with one person and then you meet up and meet up with another person. But yeah, I feel like you're definitely gonna be meeting up with a few different people over these next couple of days. And it's gonna feel like it works quite nicely as well. Like it's not going to be hard um, or hard going. I feel like it's going to run quite smoothly because there's an ease and an effortlessness to this trine aspect. Okay, so things are just gonna feel like they're flowing for you more smoothly maybe than usual. And in that respect, I also feel like you will feel that there's a progression here maybe within your relationships or again, within your own psychic abilities in different areas potentially of your life. You're gonna feel like there's an elevation here. There's movement. Now, I'm also really drawn in by the clock here. So something about the clock and timing. I feel like there's something happening here in divine timing. Now, even this, this image says, well, it looks like it says 10 to 2. Or for some of you, that might be 150. Okay, so you may notice something specific happens at that exact time. Now, obviously, that may not be for everybody. And I know that's a very specific time, but something about that time seems to be standing out. I don't usually see that when I look at this progressions card. So, yeah, something around maybe around 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., something may transpire here. You may even wake up from a dream, okay, in the middle of the night around this time, okay? And it may be a dream that kind of shakes you to your core, in a way, okay, helps you to see things differently. Hmm. Okay, let's just see what else is coming through. Where is my deck I was gonna use? Oh yes, here it is, one second. Yeah, you're definitely going to feel like your life is now moving forwards, especially if it's been in some kind of stagnancy or things haven't really felt like they're, they're moving in any way. It's definitely time for a shake up here. Okay, so interesting, we've got Observer and then the Moon. Um, so yeah, you may feel a little bit more, more active at night time. Okay, you may just feel like you've got more energy at night time. Maybe you, your sleep is a bit, little bit more disturbed, potentially. But again, I don't feel overall it's a bad thing. I know obviously sleep is so important and having a nice long night's sleep. But I, because I feel like you'll get back to sleep. If you do wake up, I feel like you'll be able to get back easily to sleep as well. But I don't know, it could even be the moon, depending on when you're watching this, it could be very bright, it could be like the moonlight is sort of coming through your window or through your curtains. Um, but you may also take some time to be stargazing, okay? You may be looking up at the stars and the moon and kind of appreciating that, okay? Or you may even feel more inspired at nighttime. You may feel a little bit more creative, okay? Or maybe you feel like initiating certain things at nighttime and then that makes you feel like, okay, I can fall asleep, I can relax a little bit more. But with Pisces here, there's definitely a, a lot of fluidity here to your routine, okay? So yeah, you are being guided to go with the flow here because I feel like if you're too rigid in your plans, it won't necessarily go to plan, but not to say that that's a bad thing. I think if anything, it's a good thing. Especially you may even have like Pisces on your sixth house cusp, okay? Or Neptune in your sixth house. And sixth house represents your daily routine. Could even be a transit, okay, that's happening. But regardless of that, I do feel your next couple of days is definitely going to be quite changeable, fluid in that nature. It's connected to the energy of water, even with this to the sea card here, okay? Which again, is about going with the flow. So you may be able to have some loose plans, nothing wrong with having plans, of course, but especially if you are particularly a very regimented person, you like, you know, all of your free time planned out to a T, it may not go exactly as you expect it to. So be open to change, okay? Maybe you are somebody that enjoys the fluidity of your free time, okay? So you can embrace that and enjoy that. But yeah, I would definitely, regardless of what type of person you are, it's definitely gonna be, a, there's gonna be a lot of change here, okay? So the more that you can accept that and go with that flow, the easier it will be because otherwise it's like trying to swim upstream upstream you're trying to push against the flow of resistance okay so and you would that will uh, there will be resistance if you try too hard okay or if you get too stressed about it you know if somebody cancels on you for example try to see that as a good thing and say okay that's for my divine protection there may be something that would have happened or something that was said that wouldn't have been for your highest good 
or it may have created some room within your routine for something else to happen or for you to feel inspired or creative in another endeavor, okay? So watch out for that. Watch out and catch yourself in those moments if you find yourself getting too stressed with the change of things. Like remember, it's protection. You just never know in what ways you could be protected in many different avenues, okay? But yeah, you know what I was saying about the water though as well? I definitely feel like you're gonna be connected more to bodies of water. So maybe you'll even go for a run, which will be near a lake or the sea, or maybe you'll have a bath where you sort of meditate and maybe you get some sort of epiphany or awakenings whilst you're in that bath taking care of yourself. A lot of self-care is coming through here as well. I feel like you're gonna be following what feels good to you. Okay, then we've got Yang. So yes, that makes perfect sense actually with what's coming through here because we've, so we've got all of the water, then we've now got fire, okay? And this is about initiating new action. So yeah, you're going to implement some sort of new change in your life, but that's because you're going to be psychically attuned more so than usual. Okay, something is gonna push you towards making this change and it's something you are going to activate. This isn't something someone else is gonna activate for you. This is something that is intrinsically within you, group three. Something you are going to do, something you are going to change here. Okay, so whether you decide you may feel like reaching out to somebody, okay, whether it's in a relationship context or whether it's about a job or whether it's about a trip somewhere, Okay, there's something about you initiating this new change. You're getting the ball rolling here, okay, creatively in, in, in some sort of form, which is going to help your life progress after this moment, okay? So again, if you the more you can be in acceptance of how things are going, the better it will be. Because again, say somebody does cancel on you, then if they hadn't have cancelled on you, you may not have had this epiphany because maybe you stay at home, maybe you decide to, you know, read a book or you watch a video online or maybe even you hear a piece of music and something in that really hits you and that causes you to want to make some sort of a change or to create something new or to start something new. It gives you an idea. Or maybe, for example, somebody wants to change the time of when you meet, okay? And just the natural trajectory of that butterfly effect. Because say you met up with them at an earlier point, you may not have had a particular conversation. You know, it's all the little things that can end up sparking new things into existence, okay? Or like I said, if somebody cancels or doesn't cancel, or maybe you meet up with somebody else in replacement of that, and then they're able to help inspire you in some way to make this beautiful change. So yeah, I know I sound like a stuck record now, but go with the flow, go with the flow, go with the flow these next two days. It's gonna be the most beneficial for you. Okay, rabbit, sensitive soul, strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. And then we've got whale, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Okay. So, which makes sense as well with the whale. I mean, there's more water coming through here. So yeah, you may, may be really drawn to the ocean or maybe even ocean animals specifically. Okay, but I do feel you're also going to feel a bit more emotional these next couple of days. Okay, your emotions are going to be heightened here. So take heed of that. And there's no, absolutely nothing wrong. It's good for your emotions to be connected. There's a time and a place for it, okay? But yeah, you are going to be feeling much more sensitive. Okay, so again, it might be you even that cancels on someone. If you feel the need to cancel or if you feel the need that you need to do something different or maybe you even need to cut somebody off or you need to strengthen a boundary. Okay, say that you've got somebody that's very needy of you but you need to have some downtime and you feel like you need to tell them, look, I need to do this instead. So rather than being a people pleaser, especially if you identify with being a people pleaser a lot of the time with group number three, then this is your time to, yeah, strengthen your personal boundaries. Okay, listen to yourself. Show compassion to yourself as well as to others. I mean, I really feel like you're a very empathic, compassionate person, but you have to remember to show compassion to yourself as well. But maybe also to other people, because again, say if somebody does cancel on you and you feel quite annoyed, maybe you feel fired up, try to see it from their point of view as well. And that if this is something that they just need to do at this moment, if it's for their, their highest good, then ultimately it'll be for your highest good as well. 
is yes, of course, it's always good to keep our promises, but sometimes life just gets in the way. And it's like you wouldn't want somebody to overextend themselves if they are depleted, where it's not good for them and it puts them in a negative state of mind. Okay, so it's about strengthening your compassion for others as well as strengthening your compassion for yourself. Okay, listen to yourself ultimately a lot these next couple of days. Okay, we've got Spirit Keeper of the North. And then we have medicine bag. Okay, and then we've got this beautiful waterfall here. We've got so much blue coming through as well. So you may be drawn to the color blue a lot these next couple of days. You may even be wearing blue now, okay? Or maybe you're connecting to blue crystals, or like I said, the ocean, the sea, or maybe you're painting a beautiful picture that has a lot of blue running through it. Okay, now you may also be taking some form of new medicine, whether it's conventional or holistic. Okay, there could be some form of healing that you're going through here, which is helping you. But yeah, again, I'm seeing the nighttime here being really prominent for you. Something, something's going to happen here, I feel like, which is going to help to you to create something. It's going to help you on this new start in some way. It really is. And then we've got the two of wands. Yeah, that makes sense. The hermit reversed. Oh, and then beautiful. We've got temperance there. So yeah, this is the energy of peace, balance and moderation. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to be feeling like I'm going to do a little bit of this, then I'm going to do a little bit of that. Okay. It's like, you're not going to be over focused on one thing or another. I mean, this energy is quite indecisive. So again, there's a lot of flip flopping. It's a lot of flexible, mutable energy coming through. So yeah, again, I'm not going to keep saying it, but be open to change. Okay. Because that is the energy of the next couple of days. I do feel like if you've been spending more time alone recently, you're definitely going to be opening up though. I do see you spending more time with people, putting yourself out there, socializing a bit more because the hermit being reversed is like stepping out of the darkness into the light, okay? Stepping out of your home. Yeah, maybe especially if you've been at home, maybe you've been feeling poorly or sick in some way. And so you're gonna be feeling much better to be able to step out and start seeing other people. Some of you may have even had a virus, yeah, something viral or something. But so, yeah, I feel like you're not going to be feeling under the weather anymore. I do feel you're going to be feeling much brighter, much healthier, ready to take on the day, okay, or the next couple of days. But again, you're coming from this, this place of peace as a whole here, okay? And again, I feel like you're going to be doing things in that sense of moderation. Like, you're not going to be doing anything too much or too little. It's like, say you have, I don't know, like she's holding a glass of wine there. It's like you'll have, say, one glass of, oh, one glass of wine, um, but you're not going to have five, okay? Or maybe you'll have like a small piece of cake, but not the whole cake, okay? It's like you'll be doing little things that you enjoy, um, but not doing anything to excess, okay? So yeah, you're going to have a lovely sense of balance these next couple of days. I feel like this is a really enjoyable time for you as a whole. So let's just see what the fishbowl messages say. And then I will finish off with some manifestation cards as well. Okay, so we've got soulmates. Okay, so you may feel like you are connecting with a soulmate's energy these next couple of days. Then we've got, oh, flowers. So you may be receiving some flowers. Lovely. Or maybe you gift somebody flowers. We've got high self-esteem. Yes, I mean, that makes sense because I feel like your, your self-esteem is going to be feeling much higher because, again, you're doing things from that place of high self-esteem rather than low self-esteem. And that's always something to always remember in your mind, okay? Especially when you go through low periods, is to say, if I was feeling strong, if I was feeling a high sense of self-worth, if I was secure in myself, how would I act? What would I do? You know, would I do this just to please somebody else or would I do this to please myself? And of course, again, it's having balance because of course, sometimes we need to do things to help other people. Um, but then also we also need to do things to help ourselves, but it's making sure you're doing a bit of both. You have the wisdom. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be feeling like you understand things more. So maybe you have more knowledge on certain areas, okay? Maybe you uncover certain things that help you to understand what's going on in your life more so or what you need to do moving forwards even, or maybe even finding out wisdom about these particular areas that are coming through. I mean, we've got vet animal care. 
Okay, so you may be spending more time with animals or maybe you find some healing wisdom. Maybe for some of you have got a sick pet or something, so you're able to help find some information that helps. Okay, but also children here. If you've got children that have been going through certain issues, it may be that you're able to help guide them better these next couple of days. You may be able to help them see things in a clearer way. Or maybe you're going to help other people's children, okay? Or connecting just with maybe even your own inner child, you know, doing like if you think about children, they're always following what they want to do. They're following the fun. They're following what brings them joy. They're not thinking about their responsibilities or their work or what it is they need to do tomorrow. They're just thinking about the now. So that may also be the energy that you feel like you're in during these next couple of days. And then we've got second chance. So it may be somebody comes in that wants a second chance with you. So that's something that you feel like you need to make a decision on whether you should give somebody a second chance moving forwards okay that of course will be your free will your choice i don't feel like it's somebody that you want a second chance from i mean it may be for some of you but the majority of you i feel like this is somebody that wants a second chance with you okay to meet up with you to connect with you on a deeper level it may even be the soulmate type of person okay then we've got don't force it and then emotional authority which makes sense don't force it yeah don't force your routine. Don't force things to be a certain way. Don't force a certain time. Don't force anything, okay? Again, allow things to just flow. That will make things go the in the best, most effortless way for you. Again, there's a time and a place. There are times where we need to force things and there's a time when we don't. And this right now, this period of time is the time to just let things be, to let it go in that flow state. And then <laughs> emotional authority, which also makes sense. Okay, because you are going to be feeling more emotional, you are going to be feeling a bit more sensitive. But also, this is about making decisions in the emotional authority. So you may want to give yourself a little bit of time before making certain decisions. Okay, wait to see how you feel, especially maybe somebody has asked you, hey, do you want to meet up tomorrow? And at that moment, you don't feel sure you're like, mm, I'm not sure I want to see how I feel tomorrow. So you can just say, hey, I've got a few things to do. Or you can be honest, say, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel tomorrow. Can I let you know? And if they say no, then that's fine. Okay, you can say, okay, well, I'm just going to have to say no for now. Um, or if they say, yeah, sure, let's just check in in the morning and see see what's going on. That may be the best way to maneuver these next couple of days is just to, you know, again, allow things to flow, see how you feel, come to a neutral place before you make that decision. Okay, so because again, you might say yes to something, say, yeah, let's meet up tomorrow. But then when tomorrow comes, you feel like, actually, no, I don't want to. I'm not in the mood or I don't have the energy. So again, let your emotions be your guide these next two days. Now, I'm just going to pull some Manifesting Rituals cards by Emma Mumford. I was sent these and they are beautiful, have wonderful images and amazing affirmations that, you know, can really help you in keeping keeping you on the right track for what you're trying to affirm into your life. I like to pull one a day and keep it close to me, you know, keep looking at it. You know, feel free to screenshot these or write them down or even like set an alarm. OK, so you're repeating these as much as you can over the next couple of days, which will really help you, as I said, to keep you on track. I release attachment and let go of the outcome. That makes perfect sense for everything that's come through here as well. I release attachment and let go of the outcome. All of my relationships reflect compassion, love and joy. Yeah, and like I said, you are going to be dealing with multiple people, multiple different relationships. So repeat this as well. All of my relationships reflect compassion, love and joy. I release any blocks that hold me back. I release any blocks that hold me back. So there it is, group number three. I really do hope this resonates with you. If it does, please comment a green emoji, any of your choice below. Whether it's now or you want to come back to this video after 48 hours and let us know if it made sense, please feel free. Or to write anything else you wish to share. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.